Okay guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain and so on, which means so on with another screens I do design. Uh, today we are talking about the Future Tech 4K. Uh, these are the other screens on the floor. That right there is the um, Titanium 4K Gold. Um, over there we have the 47AG. And then over here we have the Nano Black Technology. For a while it's calling it Black, black Nano, but the screen is Nano black technology that shows you how overworked I am alright so this is going to be my last video for the day I have a lot of work to do and I still have whew, I don't even think about that part I still have a lot more testing on these screens to do so anyway so uh, I'm showing the difference between an everyday screen paint which I went on Amazon I bought this black screen paint I painted it on the large sheet you see behind you and then the smaller sheet you're seeing which matches these sheets is the um, nano black technologies is the future tech black screens now the difference between these uh, these future tech screens and any other screen you'll see out there on the market that you won't see too many people doing this kind of demonstration I'm taking a black screen against another black screen to show you that there's a difference between the nano black technology and future tech screens versus any other black screen out there on the market and I'll tell you why because the uh, nano black screen by future tech can produce a brighter white level than the average black screen on the market and like I said you won't see a lot of people on YouTube or any other place doing these kind of tests doing these kind of demonstrations showing you the difference between a black screen versus a black screen uh, we did a contrast demonstration on the, the fusion black versus the uh, DMP supernova and the dark star 9 by lead screen showing that the fusion had better contrast levels on this level we're not going to do contrast levels well, actually we're going to do a little bit of both because of the video we're going to do a mix of uh, contrast black levels to show you that the screen does have perfect black levels of course the screen's black and also to white levels to show you that the screen can produce a brighter white level even though the screen is black than a another black screen that's actually sitting behind it all right so let's get this started see we're about uh, nine feet from the screen fully lit environment plenty of light all right, so I'm gonna get started now. So you guys can see this. Already from the door. Now, mind you, the Future Tech uh, Nano Black screen is about 28% done. Still got a lot more testing to go on it. bright screen you're seeing right in the middle that's nano tech technology right there black nano and then the other screen you're seeing a large screen around it that right there is some black screen paint we found on Amazon this is your high contrast screen so like I said you have a lot of people that are showing off black screens but you know can they prove that their black screens are better than the average black screen we can do that see this up close now there you go like I said that's the our screen future check and then right there that's the everyday screen black screen you see a difference don't you now mind this is a black screen that is producing a higher white level than an average black screen I showed you how advanced our technology is The remaining fantastic contrast levels and perfect whites. Look at the white levels. Now I wish I could show you what the um, the nano black screens look like. There's a very interesting design to these screens. I can't show you that. The screen is still in testing, so we can't share that with you right now.
with the skin tone. Now can you imagine having a jet black screen that has perfect color, perfect skin tone, perfect white levels, and can produce amazing contrast all in one. Now this is for those of you who want to ask me questions like what is the difference between the Nano Black Future Tech screen and an everyday black screen on the market? There you go. Now, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do one more demonstration. Let me show you guys this right here. We're gonna do a white snow scene. You're not gonna see a lot of people do this kind of demonstration because their screen is not gonna do well. It's gonna fail. Now, mind you, this is a, let me come back here and cover this up for a minute so we can recap on this. This is a black screen. Focus right there, focus. That is a black screen right there. Black screen versus black screen. This is the Forge Future 4K uh, Nano Black Technology. This right here, the bigger screen, is some black screen we got off Amazon. Like I said, black screen versus black screen, white levels. Now look at the white wall, and look at that screen. It's a black screen that's producing a white level that is so bright that it's matching the white wall. Not only is it matching the white wall, that it's outperforming a screen that is the exact same black that this screen black is. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of bit of tongue twister, but both screens are black, but that nano black is producing a higher white level. Let's see, we can show you the difference between our screens and an everyday black screen. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens. I'm gonna try to see if I can hit the lights real quick on this. It's not gonna be dark in here too much because uh, it's already daylight, there's light coming through the window, so it's not gonna be pitch black dark. But just to give you an idea, look at that. Tell me that's not freaking amazing. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Wait, 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 one minute, one minute before I sign off here. Let me, uh, let me go over into, um, I'm gonna pause this for a minute here. And I'm gonna go over into, uh, if I can bring it up fast enough. I have my time running out here, my battery's dying on my phone. Bring up an image, I'm gonna bring up an image, jet black image. Okay. Let me see what we can grab here really quick. These are images I use when I do my slideshows. Alright. Just need a jet black image. Alright, and show you the screen has amazing contrast. There we go. Alright, that's a good jet black image. Nice Labrador retriever. Let's get the whatchamacallum the plate right there, okay? Blow it up. And then you can see the screen's contrast levels are freaking flawless. Look at this. Look at that. All right. Now watch this. It's good contrast, as you can see. Now let's bring up something with a little color to it. Watch this. how bright these screens are that black screen is look at that in the dark look at that look at the color that comes up off of that all right let's grab something else really quick for my time runs out here grab something with a little bit more now there's Iron Man as you can see look at Iron Man the screen has beautiful contrast levels you can blend in with the black 
because it's black. But watch this. Come over here and hit another one. Something with a little bit more light to it. Here we go. And watch this. It produces better blues than black. Tell me that's not sick. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for 